Hello, I'm going to try to jam something into about three or four minutes, maybe more. Something that should actually take hours to do. I made this discovery uh, nine years ago. I uh, put it in a small article entitled uh, Pythagoras, Plato, and the Golden Ratio. I uh, copyrighted it and published it today and made the discovery. I believe the most important discovery as relates to Pythagoreanism and ancient philosophy that you could possibly make. Uh, Plato and the Pythagoreans uh, used uh, arithmetics uh, to use as uh, metaphysical symbology for the, the mechanics of, uh, of uh, Pythagorean monism or emanationism or in the ancient Greek prodos. Uh, hidden in the Plato's Republic 509D to 511 is a uh, analogy called uh, Plato's Divided Line. Uh, it turns out that Plato's Divided Line, uh, if you take a line and you break it up asymmetrically and you end up with uh, phi and 1 over phi, and you break each of those segments up likewise and you end up with four segments which would turn out to be phi 1, 1, 1 over phi, which equals phi cubed to 4.23606, etc., etc. The uh, grand unified theory, I'll eventually someday in the far distant future be proven correct on this, the grand unified theory of uh, all principles is a 1 over 5 to negative 3, or 1 over 5 to negative 3 cubed, which is 0 0.23, 0 0.23606, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the secret that Plato hid in his Republic, the actual secret that he got from Pythagoras before him and who knows before him, is hidden in uh, Plato's Republic 509D. Well, this is it. This is the hidden secret that Plato made. Excuse my little chalkboard example here. That's the divided line section of Plato's Republic 509D. You end up with phi 1, 1, and 1 over phi. Uh, altogether, that is phi cubed or 1 over phi to negative 3 cubed. Uh, it's an absolute truism of uh, arithmetics that phi is the 1 as 1 is the phi. In other words, phi and 1 are both the same term in equivalencies. Uh, the actual fact is is that uh, the ancient Pythagorean pentagram, I'm not talking about New Ageism or occultism, of which I have uh, absolutely nothing but detest and disdain for, but was taken from Pythagoras, the Pythagorean pentagram, and uh, here is that pentagram. It's a base angle of 108 and 36 and 36. Two sloping angles of 1, 1, and base line of phi. The uh, Plato's divided line of 509D is found in sections 1, 1, and phi, and base vertical of 1 over phi. Why is this important? Unfortunately, it would take hours and hours to tell you why this is important. Something so simple, yet so divine. This is the only true supersymmetry there is in the entire universe. Why is this so important? This is the hidden arithmos, the hidden metaphysical mechanics uh, as given down to Plato by Pythagoras himself and hidden in Plato's Republic. Uh, this fact has been proven true and it cannot be refuted. Uh, the divided line segment ultimately ends up being 1 over 5 to negative 3 cubed and this is the hidden arithmetics of uh, Pythagoreanism and monism. This is the hidden supersymmetry of Pythagoras and Plato and all after him. This is the hidden sacred, quote-unquote, sacred geometry uh, bastardized by Christians, creationists, etc., etc., throughout time. If you want more information on this, you can uh, download my article called Pythagoras, Plato, and the Golden Ratio. It's free at scrib.com and archive.org. Um, I've been working on this for nine years now, and I've had 90% roughly the discovery unfolded. Uh, the last 10% I've only recently made. I've been so joyously happy, although you can't tell it from the way I'm acting here. But I've actually finally finished up, and I could literally sit down right now and write two books about it, although I've already had a book and a half in my head up to these past nine years working on this problem. Uh, you know, the, the supersymmetry, the geometry behind all monism, the sacred, quote-unquote, sacred geometry, and uh, the reason the Pythagoreans drew the pentagram is composed of three triangles exactly like this. You rotate it once, you get the second side, and the third time you end up with the second part. The third part, excuse me. But this is the Pythagorean uh, pentagram, the base triangle, in one of three parts. Part one, part two, and part three. 
but basically we're talking about one triangle here. This triangle is a base of 1, 1, and a base of phi, divided all sections equal 1 ultimately. Phi is to 1 as 1 is to phi. Phi is to 1 over phi as it is to 1. 1 over phi to negative 2 squared, which would be uh, 0 0.618, 0 0.033, etc., etc., is also equal to 1. 1 over phi to negative 3 cubed, 0 0.23606, etc., etc., et is equal to 1. Phi squared is also equal to 1. Phi cubed is also equal to 1. You can consult with any mathematician, and they will tell you that this is an arithmetic uh, truism. This is the lost secret, the quote-unquote sacred geometry, handed down to Plato and hidden in his divided line segment, uh, section of uh, Plato's Republic at 518, 5.11. Uh, it's handed down to Plato by Pythagoras himself. Uh, uh, I have no connection and absolutely nothing but hate for occultism and anything to do with the quote-unquote pentagram, but all of this came from an original source which has been bastardized by creationists, etc., etc., throughout time and medieval ages. But I'm talking about the original article here. What was the supersymmetry of this specific triangle, 1-1, one, one, base of phi, base angles of 36, 36, and 108 top angle. Why was this one, this is the only super, super symmetry there is in the entire universe. This is the only super symmetry there is. Why was this particular triangle as the basis of the Pythagorean pentagram? Remember, if you actually take this triangle and rotate it three different ways, you end up with a Pythagorean a pentagram. Why is this one particular triangle so important? Why did Plato hide this secret? in his Republic at 509D to 511. I've had 90% of the secret now for the past nine years and published the same, and I put it in a small article called Pythagoras, Plato, and the Golden Ratio. I've finally figured out the remaining 10% of the secret. And unfortunately, sometimes the most simple things are the most difficult things to figure out, and uh, simplicity is next to divinity, and there is nothing more simple than the mechanics of monism which is the uh, philosophy, the principle behind uh, all Pythagoreanism and Platonism. In the ancient Greek, it would be prohodos. This is the, uh, this is the tolma, as Plotinus talked about in 5.1.1. This is the supersymmetry, the, the sacred geometry that the Pythagoreans understood as the basis for the entire universe, from macrocosmic to microcosmic. We're talking about the golden section, or the Fibonacci sequence which basically begins with 1, 1, 3, 5, 9, 13, etc., etc., approaching phi, the golden section, the golden ratio. Everything we consider beautiful in life, from macrocosmic to microcosmic, the spiral of a nautilus shell, the spiral of spiral galaxies, the spiral of a DNA sequence, which of course is also a ratio of 1 to phi. Everything we consider beautiful in nature, be it uh, the face or figure of another human being of the opposite sex. Everything from plant phylotaxis to growth to human symmetry, facial symmetry. All of this is based upon the golden section. It's based upon this one and the actually not only one, this is the only true supersymmetry there is in the universe. I am so happy and delighted having made this discovery nine years ago and even more delighted that I finally finished up the, the remaining 10% of this discovery. Uh, I'm, I don't appear in this video, but this unfortunately would take hours and a huge lecture and actually two books to tell you why this discovery is so incredibly important. I am ultimately not a Buddhist, but uh, I am a Neoplatonic Platonist, a metaphysician. Of course, all Buddhism is monism by definition. And of course, if you actually uh, look into uh, the ancient metaphysicians of uh, India who... Uh, were experts on Indian metaphysics, ultimately later in their life, they all, like Radhakrishna, Dr. A.K. Kumaraswamy, ultimately they all ended up studying one thing and one thing exclusively, as migrating away from their own Indian texts into the texts of Plato and Plotinus, because they knew this was the supreme metaphysicians for explaining the mechanics, the works, the, the actual mechanics of the cosmos. The Greeks were the experts at that. And some of these hidden secrets nobody has made until now, and I made that discovery nine years ago when I published that small article and made the massive discovery in Plato's Republic, and uh, ultimately this will prove to be the grand unified theory of uh, the four principles of the universe, which is 1 over 5 to negative 3 cubed, which is 0 0.23606. So some people say, well, that's a number. No, it is not. It is uh, the mechanics 1 over 5 to negative 3 cubed end up with, ends up equaling 5 cubed, 
which is the entire summation of Plato's divided line segment, which is phi, 1, 1, and 1 over phi, which equals phi cubed. And that's the basis for the lost arithmos of the Pythagoreans, the, the secret uh, arithmetics of the Pythagoreans, which is the 1, 1, phi triangle, the only true supersymmetry of the entire cosmos. Like I said, everything in nature that we consider beautiful and in harmony, the quote-unquote sacred geometry is the new occultism term, which I hate to use that term, but uh, that the people are interested in, the golden section, the golden ratio. This 1, 1, phi triangle is the basis behind the Pythagorean pentagram. I have ancient Greek coin examples in the article, uh, Pythagoras Plato on the Golden Ratio, that I wrote, uh, talking about this coin and what it was the basis of and why this 1, 1, phi base triangle is so important to the Pythagoreans and why it forms the metaphysical model of totality in the absolute sense, both literal and figurative. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that I have to take something so extremely important that would take hours and hours to tell you and hundreds of pages to say why this is so important, give you endless examples, but in a short summation, I uh, hope this opens up the door for you and you think about this because I'm so glad to have finished up this uh, part of the discovery. I've been working on this for nine years now. I've had 90% of the quote-unquote answer to this lost Pythagorean mystery and uh, now I have the remaining 10%, so I have 100% of the mystery solved. Uh, actually, I didn't tell you what the remaining 10% is here in the video. I'll wait till I copyright that and uh, publish the paper, actually a fundamental book that I'm working on regarding the topic. But that should suffice for now. And uh, the little 20-page uh, presumptuous article in which I made the discovery, Pythagoras Plate on the Golden Ratio, can be found, like I said, on scribd.com and uh, archive.org. Um, if you can't understand why this is so important, then you're probably not intelligent enough to understand why the Pythagoreans and the Platonists and the Neoplatonists used, uh, used the arithmetics as uh, metaphysical mechanical models for uh, the, uh, the model of the universe. And uh, if you don't have the intellect to grasp it, that's uh, your shortcoming and certainly not mine. It doesn't mean that I'm at fault, but you lack the intellect to understand it. But if you do understand it, I hope you uh, gain as much uh, intellectual joy and uh, out of the discovery as I did when I uh, made it uh, back in uh, 2002 and published it in 2003. Thank you so much.